Hey guys! All right, I thought I'd do a quick video to let you see what we've been up to with the deck. Um, the weather has been horrendous. Um, high heat, you know, 100 plus degrees. And then now we're entering, we're finally starting to get the afternoon shower. So it makes it kind of difficult for us to do anything outside right now. But um, things haven't really changed. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and show you um, all the good stuff that we've gotten though. Okay, as you tell, this is our passion vine. And because we have no more ramp, I'm not able to maintain it. <laughs> so we have to get this handled. But uh, yeah, it's starting to grow onto the house. It's overhanging. And it's actually gotten into our my moringa. And then behind the moringa is my mulberry bush. And it's also getting into the bananas. <laughs> So the vines are everywhere. We're going to have to cut it back. But we also have, um, there's a passion fruit there and there's one over here. I got to collect. They're falling off now. So Donald's been eating them. He loves them. Um, like I said, not much has changed. Um, other than us putting the stairs here, we put a ramp down because there's like a hole there, I guess. Um, we still have to clean up. We're waiting until we're going to get this deck down by this weekend and uh we're going to take the ground we're going to clean it up and what we're going to do is then put down some weed barrier so that way we can control these um down here in florida we have these uh aggressive vines like that's one right there and they get into the trees and they're just horrendous. They're really, really bad. Um, so we're going to eventually take this whole thing down. We're keeping a few of the posts up because they uh, serve a purpose. Like this one's serving a purpose. We're just going to clean it up a little bit, you know, get the extra junk off like that crap. But this here holds one of our dragon fruit. And then, besides, um, we have to get lumber, but this past weekend, we made several trips. Oops, son. And we got a really good deal on the Facebook Marketplace. Um, we're borrowing the trailer. It's still got to unload it, but we, for 60 bucks, these are all red bricks. We got... 400 I think that'll count it was 456 red bricks with the holes in it and then we have a bunch of the uh solid bricks red bricks the guy gave us that's an AC unit uh, platform which we'll, we'll use it for our AC because ours doesn't have one and then I have we have to unload all of this still all of this for 60 bucks it took us we started in the jeep and i even got more i even got some in the jeep there's actually some in the jeep too um but uh we're going to use this to lay down under the walkway here and as a patio because uh we're going to build a grill area on the ground there's a passion fruit. Oh, spider webs. Dang it. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Spiders are crazy this time of year. But this is a passion fruit. Um, personally, I don't like the taste. Donald loves it. It tastes sour to me. I don't like it. But, and there, you know, we got a bunch more up in there. I gotta, normally I clean out this area pretty good i keep it well maintained but i can't since i got no ramp so yeah so the start of it but like i said we're gonna put down weed barrier we're gonna smooth this out level it because there's like a hump 
and then there's another hump down there. We're going to smooth it out. Weed barrier. Then we're going to put down the paver stones of bricks. We're going to use the red brick as liner to line the sides. And then we're going to fill in all the gaps with uh, some gravel. So that's the plan. At least we got the start of it. And for 60 bucks, we couldn't beat it. And now we just have to start getting the lumber. And that way we can uh, get the deck back up and running. But what we're going to do here is we're going to put steps going up here to the door about three steps but we're going to make it as wide as this so they're nice big steps so you'll walk through the tunnel of love and then up to the deck and then let me get around the other place here oh i just dropped a brick hold on okay so some of the things to let you know we're going to keep this up here um, only because we have beetle leaf growing here. And then what we're going to do over here, we're going to put a couple of the round, we got some round paver stones, not a lot, but just a little bit. We're going to put a couple round ones here as stepping stones. And then this whole area is going to get paved in and this is going to be Donald's grill area. And we're going to put it down on the ground. So that way we don't have to worry about grilling up on the deck, catching anything on fire with the wood. Um, we are going to, because the deck's not going to come out as wide or as long, I should say, right where the blue hole digger is, we're going to put steps leading up to the deck this way and they're going to be recessed in. So that way Donald literally has this entire area to put his grill we have a, um, a, uh, what is it called? A, uh, a dark colored, uh, countertop that we're going to make a stand for. And then we can also have a little bit of room for seating. And it's, this is not going to be the main walkway in and out of the house. This is just going to be for the grilling area. Um, the main walkway is going to be up there, but we had an issue. Donald's unhappy. But it's fixable. We came out and we were doing work and we were using the uh, the truck to hold the wood. Well, I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. Now you can see it. The granite countertop broken too. Donald was pissed off. I don't blame him. But they do make stuff that you could fix it. So we're going to fix it. Um, it's either that or he can smooth out the edges and he can have two little like end tables on either side of the grill. Eh, just an idea. But either way. And then um, where the house is, all this opening here, they had placed this the people prior to us used this was under the deck we couldn't get to it but it's wooden lattice we don't want wood just rots too quickly around here so what we're going to do is we're going to put white lattice all along the side since this whole entire side will be exposed for us we're going to run it down the house it's pretty cheap um it'll only take us a couple of uh couple of them to get probably about maybe 10 15 I'm thinking because the house is really really long but uh, we're gonna put the white lattice all along across the house from end to end and then that way we will have this side buried um, or blocked off so that way we're trying to get the house blocked off so animals don't get under it like our dogs if we let them loose the chickens because trying to chase chickens from underneath the house is a pain in the butt <laughs> um and then we'll probably put some lattice around the deck too um i don't know i'm i'm it's, it's either that or i leave it as gravel and i just will just have a little border so that way the gravel doesn't get out because that's our ma our main problem is everything grows so fast. We don't want the uh, 
the gravel to get into where we're going to be mowing and then we're shooting out windows or breaking stuff with the gravel so that's about it guys and uh we'll keep you updated on this project like i said the only reason it's taking us so long is because not only of the heat but then it's also raining too now so we will keep you all updated as we go along bye guys